movie menu. The movie menu. Movie menu. Movie menu. Hi, I'm Mike Stand, and with me is Dan the Man Munoz. Hey. And we are Movie Menu Spotlight, where we spotlight our favorite indie, foreign, or documentary film of the week. The movie we are spotlighting this week is Salt of the Earth, directed by Juliano Salgado and Wim Wenders. So the movie Salt of the Earth is about this amazing Brazilian photographer named... Um, Sebastião Sagado. Yes. And his pho photographs are really amazing. And They're it's very breathtaking. Detailed. Yes. And haunting and beautiful and heartbreaking. All encompassed in this one black and white photo. And he has many, 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 many books and photographs about certain eras that are quite amazing to watch. Yeah. What was some of your... Uh, was which, which was one of your favorite... Uh, segments or one of his one of your favorite books that they talked about dan uh probably the dedication to the earth because it's actually the most uh uplifting one that he has <laughs> yeah, yeah uh most of his other uh photography Ooh. books are heartbreaking this is genesis very... that's what it was right yeah genesis. genesis yeah and uh the movie starts off with a photograph and it, it talks about uh, this guy who was a fan of his art of his photographs who he wanted to know more about this photographer and just the images that are shown in this movie are very powerful. Yes. They're just very powerful and very moving, very emotional, uh, and just overall amazing. And you're just, I'm amazed at someone who is so talented and able to capture life in, in uh, the most uh, secluded areas of the world. What yes. did you think, Mike? No, I agree. And uh, what, what? Another thing that was really amazing about this movie, I think, was the photographer's perspective on reality and per his perspective on life. And um, there were just a lot of uh, of amazing things he had to say. So, such as uh, he was talking about the subjects of his photographs, and he was saying that he a lot of times he gets credit uh, obviously as the photographer but he was talking about how how it's actually a two-way street in his photographs that that the people uh have to uh reveal themselves to him so i, I thought that was an amazing uh is an amazing approach to photography so he's just sitting there waiting it out until until it's the the perfect time to to get that photograph so. also this uh this Director is was his son of this yes. movie, and so it was great to hear uh, hear the life story of Sebastián Salgado from the point of his son, and uh, his whole life's work, and understanding that his father was always away. But th this this film was them bonding together and, and having a relationship. So I thought that was quite an amazing story to tell as well. Yes. Um, what was your favorite book um, uh, or segment of the movie where? Yeah, I mean, photographs. I th I would say the I mean I there uh, I enjoyed like every segment that they went through. I think one of the most powerful segments to me was um uh the photographs in Africa where they were just showing uh the famine yeah, and people starving and uh, diseased and this a uh, lot of uh, unfortunate dead bodies that he captured uh it's very hard to watch, yeah. but and it's very heartbreaking. Yeah, and he was t and uh, Salgado was talking about how there were there were count he was saying there were countless times where he would just put down the camera and just he couldn't help but weep for hours in between his shots. And he was talking about how um, he was saying everybody in the world should see these photographs to see the horrors that are happening in other parts of the world and created by man. Yeah. And so. that no no one deserves to live after after doing all this stuff, and yes. then what brings him back to life is his home in Brazil, yeah. his father's ranch. That's a great story. I don't want yes. to ruin anything with it, but that's just a great story as well, which inspires him to do Genesis, which is, was my favorite section of the movie, because it's you know it's not depressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so oh yeah. Although this movie can get really dark, it it doesn't. Uh, there there are some lighter tones in this too so um, this is overall well balanced yes. great documentary and it was nominated for best documentary at the oscars this year uh for some reason it didn't win uh but it's very powerful and yes. definitely worth checking out 
Yes, so go see this movie. And uh, if you have seen it and you'd like to comment about it, uh, add to the comments below. I'd appreciate that. Um, check out our spotlight last week, which was The Wrecking Crew, which I think you would enjoy about uh, musicians. Check that out right here. Or in the description below. Or down there. <laughs> or right here. No, not there. Okay. Or right, subscribe to us, and yes. our, our channel description will be here or in the description below. Let us know what you think. And if you like our videos, watch the other videos or like us. Yes. Press, like the, us. press the like button. Subscribe. Enjoy. Subscribe. Go to moviemenureviews.com and enjoy all our content. Good yes. Day. We have our content every day. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Dan.